Welcome to the RV News and Recalls for February of 2024 from Destinations A to Z. I am Glenn Bailey. If it's your first time joining us, then welcome. This is a monthly video bringing you the latest and the greatest in the RV industry and the RV markets. If it's not your first time joining us, then welcome back. Let's get this video started. Talking about the RV industry first, Camping World has several 2024 acquisitions plans. This is simply unbelievable as they keep buying out great RV dealerships that are privately owned, that are catered to the RV owners and provided great service in the past. Camping World intends to open 15 dealerships in the next three months. The acquisitions will include rebranding existing facilities and some previously announced acquisitions closing. Camping World Chairman CEO Marcus Lemonis said as of 2024, they are driven towards working their goals toward dealership count of over 320 locations in the next five years. The dealership chain kicked off the new year by closing on Ashley Outdoors in Salem, Alabama. A deal first announced in November of Camping World intends to open its store in Cape Jurdo, Springfield, Missouri, and Melbourne, Orange Park, Pinellas Park, and Claremont, Florida, also Louisville, Texas. The dealer chain will open six manufacturer exclusive dealerships in the first quarter of 2024. Jayco exclusive dealership stores will open in Byron, Georgia, Benton, Arkansas. Forest River exclusive dealerships will open in Little Rock, Arkansas, Ocala, Florida, and Greenville, North Carolina in Statesville. The Little Rock store is the, was the only Forest River exclusive location previously announced. The dealer chain is also working on closing a location in Brooksville, Florida. Based on the continued demand and stabilization, the team is confident in opening 15 additional locations ahead of the selling season, according to Marcus Lemonis. These openings are separate from any future RV dealership acquisitions that may be happening throughout the 2024 calendar year. With Camping World buying up all the dealerships, the service industry is waning, I'm afraid. Let's hope it changes. Continuing with the RV industry, Fort Myers RV Show is on January the 25th through the 28th of this year. The Fort Myers RV Show was held in Lee County Civic Center for the past 37 years. This year, they've moved to JetBlue Park, which provides additional layout space compared to the Lee County Civic Center. Civic Center. Lee County officials debuted the Civic Center's future through 2023. The building, which has housed the Fort Myers RV show, guns, shows, fire needs, and, and renovation. Although Lee County will address the drywall and termite foundation and water damage issues over the next three to five years, the renovations could not come soon enough for the Florida RV Trade Association. Therefore, the new show is moved to the new location now. Continuing with the RV industry, over 75,000 attendees went to the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa, Florida to view the 2 million square feet of RV dealer displays from January the 17th through the 21st. RV show attendance was down 5% compared to 2023 show attendance, but ranks the third highest total in the Florida RV Super Show history. The 2022 show drew over 84,000 attendees, while this year it was only 79,000 attendees. Florida RV Trade Association Dave Kelly reported a positive show. From talking to just about everybody, Kelly said they were extremely happy with the results. Kelly said industry day, they revealed new products and higher attendance than suppliers reported running out of brochures, reordering products because of high sales. Kelly said factors contributing to lower attendance rate were the election year, the high interest rates, and raised gas prices. Anniversary festivities are in store as the event celebrates 40 years next year in 2025. Continuing with the RV industry, the Canadian Standards Association releases updates. The Canadian Standards, the CSA, published the fifth edition of the CSA Z240 RV series of standards with updates. Many changes are centered on efforts to synchronize Canada and U.S. RV requirements. Stakeholders can obtain a copy of the new standards through the CSA online store. The general requirements changes under CSA Z240.0.2 include the RV definition, which changed added reference photos, updated the minimum rating for portable fire extinguishers, 
updated references to the NFPA 1192 synchronized warning label, updated clause 5.1.6, lofts, ladders, requirements update, vehicle requirement changes under CSA 241.2, includes vehicle, axle, tar, wheel assembly requirements for towable RVs, plumbing requirements for CSA, include the updated references of propane appliances and equipment installation requirement changes under the 4.2 include maximum container capacities gas supply connections electrical requirement changes under the csa include the vented battery and the non-vented battery requirement also added the non-vented vented battery installation labels along with added alternative dielectric strength test updated references as well continuing with the rv industry WineGuard introduces new RV app features. Consumers are a tap away from having RV safety and security features at their fingertips. WineGuard's smart RV ecosystem increased accessibility through its RV Halo app, which connects to the RV WingGuard products. WingGuard added more features to the ecosystem that raises consumers' awareness of their RV. RV Halo now includes a sensor pack with smart RV system internet of things lot sensors these sensors measure water levels temperature humidity motion contact the sensors will be launched in the first quarter of this year the new wireless sensors can be used to monitor entryways such as doors windows whipple said the wireless sensors can last up to seven years on one battery that's amazing a contact sensor place at the entry port will provide consumers an activity alert through the app the passive infrared motion sensors notifies consumers about movement in the RV. The water sensors informs consumers about the RV water damage. And trust me, I've actually seen RVs flood whenever owners have been away, and that's not good. And this would alert them so they could get back and get that resolved. The sensor can also monitor under the sinks, near toilets, and around water lines. Temperatures and humidity sensors maintain the RV's climate. The temperature sensor can be alert to consumer the fridge is too high or too low. The temperature sensor can also monitor the RV temperature. For example, if an RV or pet has a pet inside their RV and it gets too hot, alert will be sent. Whipple said the temperature and humidity sensors can monitor RV refrigerator. If a refrigerator comes unplugged, the consumer will receive notification the temperature has got too high. Since the app's release in August 23, consumers have downloaded RV Halo over 30,000 times. Additional app features include battery level monitor, provides RV locations for consumers, creates geofence around the RV. The geofence is an invisible fence. The owner can set up around the RV. If the RV moves enough to break the fence, the owner receives a notification. Let's talk about the RV market. After a year in which forecast pro projected wholesale RV shipments below 300,000, RVIA reported 2023 year-end wholesale RV shipments passed the threshold. December 2023 found that the total shipments were 313,174 RVs for the calendar year. The total is a 36.5% decline from 2022, which was the lowest since 2012, when the industry totaled 285,749. This is still a huge decline from what we've seen in 2020 and 2021. I believe a buyer's market almost ready to come back as interest rates fall back down. However, the last two months, years brought the signs of an uptick in the industry. For the second consecutive month, 2023 shipments were greater than the same month, 2022, December of 2023. Wholesale RV shipments totaled 21,522, up 8.1% from 19,907 in December of 2022. November was the first month of year-over-year -year shipments gained in 18 months. Continuing with the RV market, JD Paris 2023 Market Insights report found that all RV segments depreciating for the 2023 model year. The report said values remain strong compared with historical standards. The report included RV models bought from the last 10 model years. Travel trailer, fifth wheel, camping trailers had the largest number of turnaround in the market conditions of 2023. These RV types flipped from appreciation early in 2023 to the depreciation in the second half. Motor homes yielded more than moderate results in 2023, generally losing minimal to moderate value throughout the year, bringing on par with 2022. 
Travel trailers averaged 5.4% lower from November to December 2023 compared to September through October of 2023. For the full year, it was 4% lower in 2023 compared to 2022. Fifth wheels also 4% lower from November to December compared to September to October of this of 2023. For the full year, the values were 2.5% lower in 2023 compared to 2022. Camping trailers were only 1.3% lower from November to December compared to September through October of 2023. For the full year, the values were 3.3% lower in 2023 compared to 2022. Type A motorhomes averaged 1.1% lower values from November to December compared to September to October. Full year values were 2.5% lower in 2023 compared to 2022. Type C motorhomes averaged 2.9% lower values from November to December compared to September to October of 2023. For the full year values, they were 1.3% higher in 2023. Get that. Wholesale RV values. Black Book's January RV market commentary reported originally sold in 2020, 2021, 2022 are appearing more frequently in wholesale auctions. Additionally, Black Book found that the continued decline in the wholesale RV values in November 2023 compared to October, RV values have been on a downward trend since mid-2022. The average motorhome sales price was $53,896, down $9,916, or 15.6%, compared with the previous month. The sales with one year ago was $68,565, which is a 21.3% decline. Lower values are typical in the colder months, however. They're hopefully the come back. Motorhome values declined with quite a bit last month, containing its overall trend that first emerged in mid-2022. Toyables were less volatile, with their values falling slightly for the fifth consecutive month. The average toyables was down, the average toyable sales price was $18,294, down only $647, or 3.4% from October. Sales price, which was $18,529. Auction volume was down for motorhomes and towables. Motorhome volumes were down 14.3% compared to October. Towable values were down 16.5% compared with October. The average model year sold was 2015 for motorhomes and 2018 for towables. The market we are in right now is typically a winter market and that's to be expected. Time for the RV Resort Spotlight. The spotlight this month is Motor Coach Resort of St. Lucie West in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Discover paradise for the luxurious motor coach res resort living. Are you ready to elevate your Class A lifestyle to the next level? Then look no further than the motor coach resort at Port St. Lucie West. Your new haven of leisure and luxury in the heart of Florida's Treasure Coast, nestled amid lush greenery and bathed in warm Florida sun. Their resort is a getaway of unparalleled motor coach res experience. Why choose? Motor Coach Resort of Port St. Lucie West is simply stunning beauty. Immerse yourself in the serene beauty of the resort's meticulously landscaped grounds. Paradise where nature and luxury coexist in perfect harmony. Spacious sites. The spacious sites are designed to accommodate the largest of motor coaches up to 45 feet, ensuring that you'll have plenty of room to relax and spread out. Endless amenities. Enjoy a host of world class, including luxurious clubhouse, four heated pools, 18-hole executive golf course, state-of-the-art fitness center, tennis ball, pickleball courts, and much more. There's always something for everyone. Proximity to the attractions, explore nearby golf courses, pristine beaches, charming local shops, spring baseball is a golf cart right away, vibrant culture scene of Port St. Lucie. Adventure awaits right outside your door. The amenities is 469 beautifully landscaped lots surrounded by palm trees and seasonal flora, available for ownership and rental both. Individual cement or paver pads, state-of-the-art hookups, water, sewer, ca electric, cable, TV, and internet. Four swimming pools, spa, bathhouses, three laundry facilities, 18-hole par three executive golf course, two lighted tennis courts, four lighted pickleball courts, Four shuffleboard courts and two bocce ball courts, three fenced-in dog parks, and a new dog washing station. Expansive clubhouse with lounge, pool table, fitness center, and library, all gated securely. 
on-site daily trash pickup, dedicated and friendly on-site staff, exciting array of scheduled social activities. A link will be in the description of this video below. Be sure to let them know that you've seen it here on Destinations A to Z. Talking about interest rates, let's hit that. Even though Good Sam RV loan rate dropped 1% for February, they are still not back down to the lowest yet. The lowest is still 6.99 at IFG and Great RV Loan. The Federal Reserve is, is saying that the rate hikes are now done. However, the rate cuts are still maybe able to come as early as May now. It was March, now they pushed it out to May of 2024. So be looking for that coming soon. It's time for the Destinations A to Z video spotlight. This month, the spotlight is on tour of one of the most sharpest coaches I've ever seen from Newell. It's coach number 1799 with a matte paint finish. It's unbelievably, it's stunning with the finishes inside. Takes it truly to the next level. A link will be in the description of the video below. Be sure to go out and check out that RV as you will be totally shocked. It's time for the RV YouTube channel spotlight. Their channel is called the TNT RV and ever wonder what happened to the, after the wedding? Well, after 25 years of marriage, Tony and Tina bought an RV and decided to hit the road to see this great country. Tony's past history of aviation mechanic, A&P, and automotive mechanic helped keep Bell and Rockwood Mini Light 2205S in top shape. They enjoy sharing with others the travels and what they've learned about RVing along the way. Be sure to check out their channel and let you let them know that you've seen it here on Destinations A to Z. Link to their channel will be in the description of the video below. Time for the most important part, RV recalls. And yes, they've ticked back up for February, which that's not surprising. Start off with Airstream. Spare tar bracket may break. A detached spare tar may become a road hazard and can cause a crash. It affects the 22-23 Base Camp 20X travel trailers. Spare tar carrier bracket may experience metal fatigue breaking allowing the spare tar to detach from the trailer force river insufficiently reflective tail lights tail lights that do not reflect enough light to reduce the vehicle's visibility to other drivers potential number of units affected is 30 it affects the 24 xlr boost toy haulers the tail lights may be insufficiently reflective as such these vehicles fail to comply with the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard number 108. Still continuing with Forest River, this is a huge recall, get this fixed immediately. Incorrectly installed suspension airline. A loss of suspension can cause loss of vehicle in a crash. Potential number of units is affected is 19. It affects the 23 through 24 Coachman RV Concourse CNC 321 DSF motorhomes. The air suspension line may be incorrectly installed near the exhaust, which can cause sudden loss of rear suspension. Keystone RV, incorrect axle spring sizes installed. The springs can be an overloaded, causing a crash. Potential number of units affected is 366. Affects the 21 through 22 Dutchman. Coleman 1855RB190BH. Travel trailers. Travel trailers may be equipped with Axle springs rated at 4,400 pounds instead of the 5,100 pounds. Rev group. Air deflector may break, detach from the vehicle. Loose or broken mounting bracket. Hard work can allow the deflector to detach from the vehicle and could cause a crash. Potential number of units affected is 259. It affects the 16 through 23 American Coach American Eagle motorhomes. Turbulence may loosen or break the rear air deflector mounting bracket. Winnebago towables. Bumper mounted spare tar carrier may detach. A spare tar that fail, falls could detach from the vehicle causing a crash. Potential number of units affected is 1,313. Affects the 21 through 23 micro mini FLX travel trailers. Be sure to get that fixed. Forest River drawbar locking mechanism may break. Travel trailer that contacts the road during the transit could cause a crash. Potential number of units affected is 302. It affects the 2020 through uh, Cherokee travel trailers. The drawbar locking mechanism may break, which could cause the front end of the trailer to contact the road. Forest River again. Battery boost wiring may short circuit a loss of power steering and could cause a crash.
Potential number of units affected is 572. It affects the 2020 through 24 Coachman Galleria Motorhomes. The battery boost wiring may become damaged, resulting in an in electrical short, causing loss of power steering, which is never good. Be sure to get that fixed quickly. Heartland Recreational Vehicles. Incorrect tar size information could result in the incorrect tar being installed on the vehicle. It affects no six of the 2024 Katerra fifth wheels. Newmar, incorrect wheel may cause seat failure. Loose or detached seat could cause an injury or a crash. Potential number of units affected is 160. It affects the 22 and 23 Dutch Star, Mountain Air, London Air, Essex, and the pedestal mounting plate may be improperly welded, causing the plate to separate and the seat assembly to loosen and detach. Brinkley, wheel assembly may detach. Wheel assembly detach could cause a crash. Total number of units affected is 17. Affects the 24 model Z RVs. The axle spindle may well may fail. Force River, independent suspension may detach. A detached suspension could possibly cause a crash. Potential number of units affected is 1911. Affects the 23 through 24, no boundaries. R Pod Ibex travel trailers, the independent suspension. Fasteners may loosen, allowing for the independent suspension to detach. It's another big recall. Be sure to get that fixed as soon as possible. Force River, side marker lights not reflective. Total number of units affected is 64 to fix the 24 Shasta Oasis travel trailer. Force River again, propane link from the fuel gauge. A fuel leak in the presence of an ignition source could cause a fire. Potential number of units affected is 24. Affects the 2024 Coachman Nova Type B motorhomes. Tiffin, incorrect weld may cause seat failure. A loose or detached seat could cause the crash or injury. 507 units, it affects the 22 Allegro Bus Phaeton, Allegro Red 360, and Zephyr motorhomes. Pedestal plate on the driver's side may be improperly welded, which could cause the plate to separate and detach. Winnebago, blind spot monitoring system may fail. Without the functioning blind spot monitoring system, driver may be unaware of the blind spot and could cause a crash. Potential number of units is 844. Affects the 21 through 23 Echo motorhomes. The blind spot monitoring system may fail without warning the driver. There you have it. That's all the recalls we have for February. As you can see, it's ticked back up drastically from last month. We only had three. And you can see what we had this month. We've got some serious recalls in here this month, especially about the suspensions and the wheels falling off. Be sure to get those fixed as soon as possible. Also, be sure to share this out to other fellow RVers and make them aware of their recalls. By the way, you don't have to remember everything I said. A link will be in the description of the video below to link out to all these recall information so you can get it and call at your leisure rather than going back through the video. I put it out there for your viewing pleasure. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Remember safe travels and hope to see you on the next one.